Hello and welcome back, Bargain Hunters. I'm James Romero, and each week we help you to uncover the best eShop deals available in the UK, US, and EU stores. Later on, we will announce the winner of a $10 eShop voucher from last week. Let us know your pick this week for a chance to win one next week as well. Without further ado, let's take a look at the best deals this week. Kicking things off this week with my pick of the week, it's the delightful journey, The Gardens Between. At face value, you would be forgiven for thinking that The Gardens Between is a visual novel where you were just along to watch the story unfold. But whilst the gameplay appears simple, there is surprising depth. The premise is that you solve a series of puzzles, bending time to find the right solution for the protagonist, friend and Ariana. What's more, each little island in which a puzzle takes place looks gorgeous and this unique adventure is one worth experiencing and a strong deal with 70% off. I do encourage you to give this one a go. All right, Jordan Juan, what are your picks this week? Hey everyone, how you doing? Jordan here with my pick of the week. It's not very often that I go for a triple A game since, you know, they get enough coverage as it is. But when it's just too irresistible, I've got to talk about it. And this is one of those weeks with Dragon Quest XI, the definitive edition. At its lowest ever digital price, 43% off in the UK and Europe. Now just £28.29 or €33.99. Sadly, no sale in North America. That is a bummer, but hopefully a deal will come along for you in the coming weeks. Anyways, this game is often touted as one of the best in the series. A real return to the forefront where the legendary RPG belongs. It's an absolutely massive game, and if you don't believe me, perhaps check out the demo which is 10 hours long. Yep, JRPG fans need this game, and you can't say no at this price. Thanks very much, James. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon has 50% off in all regions, and that's my pick this week. If you love those retro-style action platformers, then this brought to you by Koji Igarashi is going to be for you. Add in the whips and swords, playing as a demon slayer, and what more could you want to satisfy that Castlevania rich? As you traverse through the worlds, you'll meet other travellers, which are also playable characters, each with their own unique abilities to help you get through some of those treacherous levels. Add in that 8-bit aesthetic and this game will take you back to those heady days in the late 80s and early 90s if you're as old as I am. If you're newer, then it's still one highly recommended. Take care everyone, see you next week. Great picks there chaps. Talking about Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I reviewed it and its sequel is also on sale with a decent 30% off following the same formula. You get to play as four distinct characters in your journey set across eight mostly linear stages. Zangetsu is back, but the other three characters are different this time, giving you a new experience around. There is also the introduction of local multiplayer, which is a very, very welcome addition. If you enjoy the first, then you will enjoy this one as well. In the Flame in the Flood, here we have a wilderness survival game where you control a girl and her dog down a procedurally generated river. Of course, evading dangerous wildlife is key along with finding resources to survive and also remedying in afflictions. There is a crafting system and the support you get from your dog who can sniff out danger, which is really charming. We love the visuals here and the cool soundtrack and with 70% off now, this is definitely the time to try this one out. Bulletstorm is a first person shooter that was released on other consoles all the way back in 2011. It arrived on the Switch and flew under the radar, but it's one of the most original and fun shooters around. In it, you are encouraged to mess around, and in fact, there are a whopping 131 ways to kill an enemy. What we get on the Switch is the 2017 remastered version, complete with a graphical overhaul and the Duke Nukem campaign. The only sour note is that the co-op experience didn't make it over to the Switch, which is a shame, but ultimately, this is the best experience solo anyway. Definitely worth a dip at 75% off. This one earned its place on our best FPS games list. For the King is a fascinating game that blends strategy, RPG games, classic tabletop gameplay and roguelike elements that takes you all the way back to the 90s with its heavy, randomly generated dice rolling mechanics. Yes, RNG is rife in this one, so if that's the kind of thing that gets you angry, this is not going to be for you. 
The graphics are cartoon-like and quaint. It's really enjoyable, both as a solo story or indeed as a co-op experience either way. Now, with 50% off across all three regions, it's a good time to buy. Snake Pass has been out on the Switch for a long time now. In fact, before many people purchased one, so it may well have gone under the radar for you. That said, it's a turn of the century puzzle platformer influenced by N64 classics like Banjo Kazooie that is just really good fun. The graphics are nice, but more importantly, controlling Noodle, the protagonist Snake, is excellent. The game's not perfect though, fiddly camera issues and a few tricky ports can be a little bit of a pain, but ultimately, this is just a really pleasant game. The Phoenix Wright Trilogy is an all-time classic. Each of these games is unique. With 50% off, it's a crazy price for how much quality you're getting here. Really, there are about 60 hours of excellent story, memorable characters, humor, puzzle solving, and, well, loads more. These three games have it all, and I love them. If you've never played one, then you really have been missing out. Into Create stumbled onto another winner when they revived the Blaster Master series, and due to that success, they put a lot into the sequel. It's a great example of the Metroidvania style complete with retro graphics and tight controls. Close to half of the game takes place as a top-down shooter as well with cover mechanics, mixing things up. Overall, it's a solid package with a good story, lots of exploration, nice variety and a good audio visual package to boot. Sonic Mania is a game that Juan reviewed early on in the Nintendo Switch's life and we heap praise on it because it was as close to the feeling of joy we got when you playing the early games back in the day. If you love Sonic, then Sonic Mania is the game to have on your Switch. I remember having the joy of the on-the-move Sonic with my Sega Game Gear. Everything is on point from the visuals, the music and the gameplay itself and with 50% off in the USA, it's definitely worth picking up. Now it's only on sale in the USA, but as the Switch is region free, you can create an account and pick this up from elsewhere. There's a little handy guide on how to do that in the description down below. If you want to feel like a pilot, then Bomber Crew has you covered. This is a great little flight simulator, which is going to put your multitasking skills to the absolute test and a smile on your face. You can customize your plane and manage everything from hydraulics, fuel and ammo, but to name a few. Once in the skies, danger is everywhere and it's up to you to make sure your crew is prepared so that they can survive and excel in each mission. It's been on sale a few times, but at the moment it has a really, really healthy 90% off across all regions. You really can't go wrong with that price, can you? Iconoclast is an action platformer with lots of puzzles and a surprisingly interesting story. I really do like the style of this one too. Made by just one person, it's one of those titles that is better than the sum of its parts. The visuals are really decent, the audio is great, and the gameplay is appealing. But together, it's something a bit magical, a really fun experience that is worth your time. Serial Cleaner is a pretty stylish, compact stealth game where the idea is to cover up murders by cleaning the crime scenes. You sneak around, avoiding cops, hoovering up all the blood and dead bodies in compact but challenging levels. I think the original price was decent, although well, pushing it a little bit slightly, but now with a chunky 90% off at just $1.49 in the US, €1.49 in Europe, and £1.49 in the UK, it's definitely worth it. The prices get this though, you start to question the quality, perhaps thinking them as shovelware. This one does have some quality to it for sure. Yesterday Origins is a point and click adventure with a roller coaster story set across different time periods. It mixes in a bit of the occult and history along with some good humour. The story is brought to life by voice acting that works well, a decent script and nice visuals. The gameplay is a classic point and click affair. You try and solve puzzles using visuals or text based clues and at some point you start hitting and hoping. The biggest issue here was that the game was in our opinion overpriced but now that's fixed with 80% off it's definitely worth considering. Puyo Puyo Tetris combines two iconic puzzle franchises. It's a comprehensive, solid puzzle title that really is a joy to play. The main issue with it for me is the high cost, so now with 50% off, it's the right time to buy if you want this solid title on your Switch. Blazing Beaks really is a great little game to play with friends. Levels are randomly generated and you can play story mode with a friend cooperatively or alone. Either way, it's a blast. If you want to compete against friends, then there is a tournament mode too to test your skills against each other. For us, we loved how simple it was to pick up and play and get into. Blasting Foes is super fun, a strong pick at a truly brilliant price point.
80 Days is a quirky little adventure inspired by Around the World in 80 Days and Phileas Fogg's incredible fictitious journey. It's a branching narrative story with lots of decisions to make, experiences to enjoy and replayability. It also looks really nice on the Switch and it's good to play on the move. With 80% off, this short story is enjoyable. And there you have it, everybody. A bunch of eShop games on sale worth looking at. Seems like they're taking us back in time with this one. Lots of the classic Switch games. What's your pick this week? Do let us know. And the winner of last week's $10 eShop giveaway is James Church. Congratulations, James. Great name. Email us at contact us at switchwatch.co.uk. We'll get you that voucher. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with us, everyone. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, we'd love to see you again. So please do consider subscribing. See you on the next one. Take care.